Those bullying claims against the ex-royal seem to be the only royal dominant story coming out of the UK today. Hi, good morning, Neil Sean here in the heart of London. That is the story breaking out of London today. But here's the story as ever where it gets rather confusing because four days ago there was a palace report and a lot of people speculated on the fact that there wasn't any money allocated for this particular investigation. That's simply because this is coming out of Her Majesty the Queen's private money. That's how serious she is about conducting a thorough investigation into those claims on both sides. Now, as we know, both sides have a dossier of information, allegedly 55 against Harry and Meghan, and apparently the same from Harry and Meghan against ex-employees. How tawdry this is all becoming. But more importantly, of course, a lot of people want to know what the outcome will be, and more importantly, so do Harry and Meghan. Now, as you know, since those bullying claims came to life, it's been really difficult for them to move their brand on. And let's not forget that the former Duke and Duchess of Sussex have always cited that they know nothing about these bullying claims. In fact, it was something of a shock to them. But moving the story now forward, as we know, it was their former communications officer that highlighted that particular incident or incidents within an email. But now it gets even more confusing simply because we can tell you first here on the show that according to good sources over in the US, both Harry and Meghan, who are so sure that they will be vindicated at all levels in this particular story, would like the outcome to be made public. But the other side of the coin is, and this is the royal coin, basically Her Majesty the Queen doesn't see anything like this should be made public simply because it's a private family matter. And actually she's correct as ever, simply because this is between family members and former staff members. Now all of these staff members would have signed NDAs, that are non-disclosure agreements. So basically that states that once you've finished employment within the Royal Circle, you cannot make money profiteer, write books, go to newspapers, etc. But as we all know in 2021, that's almost impossible to police. And even when you look back into the 90s, when you've had ex-servants, of course, writing tell-all books, including former press officers. However twaint they may be, they are still revealing secrets. So that's the reason, according to good sources, why Harry and Meghan would like the particular findings to become public, because that way, after of course they've been cleared and vindicated, they can hold their head up high, move forward with developing their brand over in the US, where this particular bullying claim has been rather damaging for them, and more importantly, put this whole debacle behind them. And of course, rather shrewdly, Her Majesty the Queen, by using her own money, will have the final say on who actually reads the document. So with Harry and Meghan over in the US, and are virtually cut off from senior members of the British royal family, it will be very hard for them to find, well, the final outcome. This, of course, taints both sides because nobody wants to have a situation like this ongoing. But what Her Majesty the Queen would truly like to find out, along with senior aides and, of course, senior British members of the royal family, like Prince Charles and Prince William, they just want to put this to bed, finally close the lid on this. And more importantly, let's not forget, it wasn't the British royal family that opened this can of worms. Neil Sean in the heart of London.